When ships are out at sea, they not only have to deal with rough weather and high waves but also with other unforeseen threats. One of the most common challenges faced by civilian ships is piracy. Armed robbery or the hijacking of ships at sea is carried out by pirates who plunder the ship or seize it for ransom. Certain specific areas are known as hotspots for modern piracy due to the high traffic of oil tankers and cargo ships along their coasts. To tackle these threats, various reliable defense systems have been developed and adopted for ships. One such system is the water cannon. This method has been used for years to prevent pirates from approaching the ship. The water cannon emits a strong jet of water, powerful enough to flood or divert pirate boats. Even if they manage to get close to the ship, the forceful water flow makes it challenging for them to board. The effectiveness of the water cannon in combating piracy has been further enhanced. There are several water cannon systems with different capacities. In addition to the water cannon, other defense systems have been deployed. During pirate attacks, some ships are equipped with long-range acoustic devices that emit high-frequency sounds to deter pirates. Barbed wire or spikes have also been installed on ships to prevent pirates from boarding. Another tool used to combat piracy is the sound weapon fired into the air to activate a danger signal. In addition to hardware defense systems, digital software also plays a crucial role in protecting ships from external threats. The International Maritime Security Association and various maritime security companies have developed automatic risk management solutions or weapon platforms that provide maritime intelligence for ships. But if you think pirate problems are a thing of the past, let me share a story. In April 2009, the cargo ship Maersk, Alabama was attacked by pirates off the coast of Somalia. The ship was sailing from Salala, Oman, to Mombasa, Kenya, with a crew of 21 people, including the captain named Richard Phillips. Despite the ship's attempts to repel the attack by firing sound guns and using the water cannon, two Somali pirates managed to board. This incident marked the first time in around 200 years that pirates set foot on a ship sailing under the United States flag. The pirates immobilized the ship and most of the crew retreated to the armored control room. However, Captain Phillips and some others were captured on the bridge. The crew had also captured the pirate leader. After negotiations, the pirates agreed to exchange prisoners and release the hostages, but they didn't keep their word. They released most prisoners, but not Captain Phillips. The pirates forced Captain Phillips into a closed boat and demanded a ransom of two million U.S. dollars. On April 8th, the USS Bainbridge arrived at the cargo ship Maersk, Alabama. After 62 hours in the boat, armed pirates attempted to reach the shore with Captain Phillips as a hostage. The U.S. military used an air cannon to steer the boat away from the coast, but this method wasn't enough. The U.S. Navy deployed helicopters to fly over the boat and create a squall to keep it away from the coast. Finally, they used the USS Halibutton, a 4,200-ton warship, to block the boat and prevent it from reaching the shore. After 83 hours, the boat ran out of fuel and the pirates had no choice but to send a message to the Maersk, Alabama, a crew asking for food and water. The U.S. Navy sent negotiators to approach the pirates on the boat. After 94 hours in the boat, the pirates finally accepted the offer from the U.S. Navy to attach a direct cable to the boat. The pirates thought they would be taken to Somalia, but the U.S. Navy had other plans. On April 10th, Captain Phillips attempted to escape by jumping into the sea but was quickly recaptured by the pirates. After this incident, negotiations with the pirates halted. SEAL Team 6 was sent from Virginia and arrived at the Maersk, Alabama on April 11th. The team placed snipers on the top of the cargo ship without the pirates noticing. The U.S. Navy began pulling the boat with a cable attached to it, bringing it closer to the cargo ship. Eventually, the pirates didn't realize they were only 23 meters away from the cargo ship, allowing the snipers to have a clear view of their target. Three snipers had to shoot simultaneously to take down the three pirates without killing Captain Phillips. Two snipers hit the heads of two pirates through the boat's windows, but they weren't sure of the position of the third pirate. The third sniper waited until the third pirate stuck his head out of the boat's window to start shooting. The three pirates were successfully taken down and Captain Phillips was rescued. 
Sometimes military ships also patrol and assist in the fight against piracy. They use compass systems that are relatively more advanced. The U.S. Navy uses a combination of autonomous sensor technology and armament to target threats from the air or surface. For example, the Aegis Combat System, currently installed on 74 U.S. Navy ships, is an advanced command and control system that uses a powerful computer and radar to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. Some U.S. Navy ships are equipped with short-range armament systems, such as the Phalanx Armament System. This system relies on radar search to detect, track, and automatically shoot targets until they are destroyed before reaching the ship. But that's not all. The U.S. Navy has also developed advanced defense systems. In 2014, the military installed a laser armament system on the USS Ponce. This system has a scalable range capability and can be used to cut enemies, burn, and explode small pirate ships from a distant location, thus protecting the ship and its crew from unexpected dangers at sea. Well, with this, we conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.